We all know that recording sound on location can have its problems. It is 185 million years old. A voiceover video is the simplest way to get around this, so I'm going to show you how to create a stunning voiceover video right in your browser. No account required and no need to download any software. If that all sounds good to you, just click the first link in the description to get started. Now we're in Veed, we're going to click upload a file, choose the video that you want to voice over and give it a moment to upload. Now in the left hand toolbar here, you'll see audio. Click on that and then you can click voiceover or for a shortcut, you can click voiceover right above your timeline. And if you have more than one microphone on your desktop, just click that arrow down and choose your preferred option. Now, before we click record, I would recommend having your script ready in front of you or at least having it memorized and prepared because as soon as we hit that red button, we've got three seconds before it starts starts recording. So once we're ready to go, we can click it, the countdown will begin, start your voiceover, and then once it's finished, hit stop recording. I'll demo this now. Three, two, and one. What if I told you that you can visit an entire country on foot in under an hour? Yes, you heard me right, in under an hour. I'm talking about Vatican City, home of the Pope and capital of Catholicism stop recording. Now, if you've made any mistakes, it's very simple to do another take. Simply just hit retake and start again. But I'm happy with mine. And now you'll notice that the voiceover appears below my video in the timeline. So the next thing to do is edit it. So you'll see there's dead air here where I'm not speaking because the audio waveform, which is that dark blue pattern you see, when it's flat, that means there's no noise. And when it's high, that's when there's volume. So at the beginning here, there's dead air. To remove it, I'm going to press play. Then press pause right before I begin to speak and then push that voiceover bar over to meet that point. Now drag it over to the start of the clip and we're going to do the exact same thing here to the end of the voiceover. Now, if your voiceover bar in the timeline isn't selected, just select it now and you'll see we've got lots of editing options for audio. We can higher or lower the volume. We can fade in and fade out, but I'm not going to use that because I've already removed the dead air. And if you select clean audio, it will remove any background noise, making your audio really clear and really crisp. And we can also choose to speed up or speed down our speech. Now I'm happy with my voiceover, it's time to render and export it. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and hit export once more. We're going to give it a moment here to render. Once it's finished, watch it all the way through once. Make sure you're happy. What if I told you that you could visit an entire city on foot in under an hour? Yes, you heard me right, in under an hour. I'm talking about Vatican City home of the Pope and Catholic Catholicism. And now that you're happy with it, all that's left to do is hit download and download MP4. And that's it. That's how to do a voiceover on a video. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.